Today, I'm going to be making a theme park and theme park tycoon, but every single theme for the rides are going to be randomly generated. I'm only going to have one hour to build this entire park, and by the end, we should have a very epic theme park. But before we get into any of that, make sure you subscribe down below, because if you anyone like theme park tycoon, you will love this channel. Anyways, let's just get straight into it. All right, so let's start this challenge in three two one and go okay the timer has started all right so the very first theme that ChatGPT wants us to make is space theme and i have the perfect idea for this one right away so there was a brand new roller coaster that came to the game it's like based off of tron we're gonna build this because i think a space themed ride of this would be a pretty easy one to do so let's try this so we're just gonna go straight into this and then we're gonna build a launch right away um, this ride won't be too crazy. It's just gonna, you know, be a, a pretty simple motorbike coaster. And we'll build, like, some space theme objects around it. I was also thinking, like, maybe we could do a spinning coaster for, like, space. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like a motorcycle coaster would fit it much better. But anyways, we're just gonna go ahead, do some twists right here. You know, a sharp little turn right there. Uh, I, I don't think it'll be going that fast. I kind of want this to be kind of like a pre-launch, you know? So, you know, it'll, it'll catch some speed, but it won't be going too crazy, you know? So we'll just kind of go something like this. We'll make it go around like some planets or something like that here. And then we're gonna go kind of down a little bit more. And then we're gonna hit our second launch here, which uh, should be pretty cool. And okay. Now we're gonna go into our second launch. Oh, for whatever reason, it's not letting me do it. Oh, I think it, I think it's this one. There we go. Now it should work. Oh, dude, what is wrong with this game? Okay, well, I got it working now. All right, so boosters all the way up here. And then we're gonna go into like huge top hat, I'm thinking. Or just something like large. We could just do like kind of an air type hill or something here. Something like that, I guess. I'm gonna make it kind of a, a smaller ride. It's not gonna be too crazy. Because then again, this is just a motorbike coaster. I'm just gonna do maybe a helix right here. Something like that. And then we're gonna go over this way and go down again have it switch directions and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab this piece here or honestly i might like try to like get it so it goes like pretty sharply up here oh that might be a little too sharp okay that looks to be good uh that that's a pretty uh forceful layout it's got a lot of speed and it's also uh got like little tron bikes on it so i'm gonna like kind of make it so the boost is not that powerful it should be very like light i know this right is it like too crazy this is only the first one we built so far so uh you know i i just want this to be kind of a calm little ride that you know the whole family can enjoy and we're gonna make this uh space seem just wait okay so before we get into theming this ride i want to give a shout out to today's sponsor have you ever wanted to know how to program being able to create anything just at the fingertips of your keyboard is something that people dream of however finding a straightforward entry point into the world of programming can be quite challenging often causing people to abandon their efforts that's where today's sponsor, CodeMonkey, comes in. CodeMonkey is a game-based coding platform that kids absolutely love. It's not just fun and engaging, it's also a safe space for young learners. CodeMonkey caters to all age groups, from CM Junior for the little ones to Python and game development for the tech-savvy teens. It's more than a game, it's a journey into the world of programming. Coding is like learning a foreign language. It opens up many opportunities and builds confidence. Knowing how to code isn't just a skill, it's a superpower that helps kids navigate the digital world effectively and safely. Ready to embark on this coding adventure? Head over to CodeMonkey and use the promo code CMMALLYB25 for an exclusive 25% discount on any paid home plan. Yep, you heard that right, 25% off. Thank you CodeMonkey for sponsoring today's video, but anyway, let's go back to our challenge. All right, so we need to build like some space theming for this ride because you know it is space themed for whatever reason so uh let's try to like i guess build some planets i think would be kind of cool we could grab like this and then we could like kind of like go like that uh this is uh, the worst looking planet i've ever seen but we'll try it so green here green here oh that that is horrible wait i do better than that there we go we got like a planet there and then we could build like a moon here i think that would be cool maybe we'll do it like right here so you'll like go around the moon Okay, uh, the, the moon is done. I wish there was, like, some spherical object that we can make where it would, like, blast through it. But, um, I don't really know how to do that. We can do, like, another planet here. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just go with that. I don't really know what other theming we could do for this. There's not really too many sci-fi things in prop. Like, there's literally nothing. Uh, I guess some metal crates might look cool. Uh, we can add an evil duck here just for the fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and add some trees around here. Kind of, like, make it look a little nicer. Some right here. Just 
just like that. Then we're gonna grab some of these big trees. And uh, I think the last thing left for this ride is uh, we gotta build a station for this. I wanna build a lot of rides in this hour, so uh, I'm kind of not gonna spend too much time on this one. I really could. I could go like full out with like some sci-fi theme. But I would be here all day working on that. Uh, if you guys only want one theme for a video, let me know below. Where, like, I just make one ride for a single hour. I mean, technically, I've done that in some of my recreation. Okay, uh, station's kind of done. Now I gotta go ahead and do the pathways down. So let's do that. Uh, okay, over here, I'm gonna build up like this. And then we're gonna build kind of a, a shorter little station for this. Oh, uh, I feel like the planet, uh, kind of made it a little bit sci-fi in the ride itself. Okay, uh, that, that's good. I think, uh, a very basic framed thing down here is probably gonna be what I go for. Have it wrap back this way. Grab some of these, like that. And then we're gonna go here, here, here. And then I'm just gonna connect all this up. And that's pretty much this whole ride done. There we go. I'm gonna kind of, like, just paint this so it looks a little bit cooler though i'm just gonna like give it like these like different like kind of variations to it uh make it look kind of a little sci-fi-y i don't know there we go okay i think this ride is done i'm just gonna like do the the color for this what would be a sci-fi color i guess blue maybe red too yeah i like that color like just like that okay we're gonna leave it like that now i think we are done with this ride and now we should work on the next one let's go over to chat gpt let's see what it generates us jungle okay i can work with that so let's try making a jungle ride so for jungle i'm actually thinking a pretty big coaster specifically the hydraulic launch coaster i might do some adjustments to the, the track layout on this but uh we're gonna build a ride like king to call with kind of a jungle theme to it because king to call also has like a jungle so we're just gonna like go down here with boosters all right now we're gonna go pretty high into the air okay that that's cool now this one isn't gonna have like a spiral drop like king to call this is gonna be something basic like this now i'm thinking what if we do like a crazy ending to this ride we're gonna make a huge like half loop right here okay, we're gonna have it go this way a tiny bit so now we got a kind of an issue to deal with here which is this roller coaster we somehow have to get it over this track here so uh i i was gonna make it go underneath it but i actually figured out i can't do that because we have the back rooms under there so we're gonna have to like kind of do something a little tricky here but i i think we can get it to work so It'll kind of go above like this. And it also will give us more space to work with this ride too. Because I'm going to make this go steeper up here. Honestly, too, this is a dope freaking layout. I want to see this in real life, bro. It's super short and like, uh, I don't know. It, I feel like a lot of these like big hydraulic launch coasters are just kind of like one trick ponies. Being that the only reason why you'd ride it is for the launch. But uh, with this, I feel like uh, that that is such a crazy inversion that like, uh, you know, th th it would be more than just a one trick pony. Anyway. Anyways, we gotta theme this now to a jungle theme and i already have some ideas so we're just gonna kind of like get a station going first things first so just kind of like that boom then we're gonna get this set up here just like that now we gotta kind of make this feel rickety as if this is like a hut in the jungle that's kind of my idea so we'll have this go here we'll get some bins just like that and actually need to go here place these back so but like that see these are like the storage bins at the end of rides where you can like store all of your items which i think is kind of cool now i'm thinking like a mesh sort of roof to this would probably be our best bet okay uh that looks cool kind of now if we get our poles just put them like that on either side and then we grab these right here and just kind of place them like this i think that'll be kind of an interesting looking Ooh, that actually kind of looks dope honestly i kind of don't even want to add anything else i just think that looks cool now um i think it's some torches would be kind of cool this and this just like that oh this is looking dope oh my goodness i'm liking this so some vines here you know to really get that jump jungle theme going but we do have to build them like this like that gonna put some bushes here yeah okay that's cool okay i think i think we need to build an entrance and exit for this real quick so rides entrance will go right here exit for the ride could go here all right some wood there then we need to come down here and then just place these just like that oh nope not like that and then we're gonna go just something like simple like this all right so i think i'm gonna want to add some like you know some things to make it feel a little bit more jungly so we're just gonna like grab some of these i made them larger because you know they, they, it looks more like a jungle some palm trees and stuff you know just like that now i'm gonna want to build something specifically for this so we're gonna grab this here and we're gonna shrink this. We're gonna make it a little bigger than that. And then we're gonna kind of extend this out more and then kind of shrink it down. Something like that. We're just gonna go like that. Boom, boom. 
Okay. Paint this green here. Oh, too green. It's gonna be like a darker green. Then these gotta be like something like that. And uh, if you can't tell what it is, uh, you might be blind. So let's just grab all these. And then uh, we can kind of just place down some bamboo wherever we want now. So, you know, some bamboo just like that. Bamboo over here. Some right here, you know, kind of spruce it up a little more. There we go. Wow, we, we got like actually pretty cool looking bamboo. We could kind of like add a little variation to it though. And then uh, I'm just gonna place some bushes down now. So bushes could go like this. Have this go around here. And then we're gonna grab these big trees and just kind of like place them right here just to kind of, uh, you know, block this area a little more. Give it more of a, a foresty look. Uh, just don't pay attention to that giant moon right there. I am gonna do something though. I'm gonna add a little support column for this. We'll have it go something like that. And then I'm gonna have this side go down like, okay, now we got a little support thing here for that. Okay, I think that's good. Um, pretty much all the theming on this coaster is now done. I'm gonna place some trees like somewhere just, you know, around here. I don't want to spend too much on them. But, you know, we do got to place a few of them down. And I think I want to do something I was thinking about um, for this coaster here just real quick. I just want to add some neon lights around it. I feel like it really uh, spruce up the ride a little more. Make it feel more sci-fi. And then some lights here would be kind of cool. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much this ride uh, totally done. Place some bushes around. Okay, this ride's done. We got to delete that. Boom. Boom bada bow. I like that. So our jungle ride and our uh, motorcycle coaster is done. And we still have 30 minutes left on the clock. Now, let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT what the next ride we should make. So now with all this done, I think the next thing that we should do is go ahead and get our next theme. Give me a theme underwater okay that should be honestly a pretty easy theme i already know exactly what i'm gonna do for this one all right so i think i'm gonna go with the splash boats because uh this should be kind of an easy one to build if i do it right so um i'm thinking we'll just do something sort of like right here for it uh that actually might be a kind of a bad spot well we'll move it up a little bit so for the splash boats uh i'm thinking we do something kind of basic you know we could uh kind of have it go up here then i'm thinking we'll maybe have it go in a circle like this and then we have it hit our drop oh i forgot how weird this ride is wait we actually have to build it like this for whatever reason so pretty steep drop like this okay this is gonna be the ride here kind of basic but uh cool i guess i kind of went with something kind of like perilous plunge i don't know just a more unique uh splash boats type of ride maybe i'll actually change up the layout just a little bit because it's kind of like out in the middle of nowhere i i kind of want to fix it up just l let me redo this real quick all right so i just fixed it up i got it working this ride is very weird to work with especially the way it works with like snapping and all this this ride's really broken you, you pretty much can't build this ride with off-grid which really sucks but uh, i was able to kind of get it working and uh we kind of got to theme this to be underwater you know so i'm thinking like maybe we'll do like some crystals or something you know rotate these you know we'll just kind of like make it something that looks kind of cool we'll put some fish around here to, to give it that underwater vibe maybe some coral or something I, I i think that's what the like the crystals are kind of like meant to be they're meant to be like coral or something i don't know all the way down here and it's looking kind of interesting here i kind of like that let's build some coral here so let's just grab some stuff like this kind of it'll it'll be kind of basic but we'll we'll have to like kind of work with it so and we'll paint them all of course thinking yellow we'll do uh blue maybe some red as well you know kind of give it that coral vibe you know it splashes right into some coral and uh the ride ends turn some of these trees into like just some uh tropical looking trees uh tropical trees uh i don't think that's a thing that exists but uh we'll make it exist okay that's cool looking let's grab these bushes we're gonna make them huge we're just gonna kind of place a log oh that is horrible wait place a log here and then we're gonna work on the station for this ride and then we're gonna work on our next and probably our final ride uh i kind of do want to like change like the color scheme of this let's make it like something kind of more vibrant like this actually i don't know maybe we got to go with something a little bit bit more blue all right let's try to build a station for this ride so the station is just going to be something kind of basic okay it looks like this ride is pretty much done here and uh we got 13 minutes so i'm gonna speed run this ride and hopefully we can build one more roller coaster specifically over here in uh this little time frame and i i think we can so let's quickly do that so uh just kind of get this working grab our poles let's just go up right here just like that and then here we're gonna do the same thing this side here yeah this ride's pretty much done kind of want to just add some more trees like just along here so i feel like it's kind of uh there's not much going on okay i just asked it to give me a theme and the final one that it wanted me to do was carnival i have no idea what a carnival theme is but we can try it i guess 
Uh, I have an idea for this. What if we do like this new ride that was just added to the game? We could do the air race ride. Yeah, we could do like one of these. Um, try to find a spot where it's not gonna like interfere with any. Let's just try this. Uh, it shouldn't hit anything in this area. Let's see. Yeah, okay. There isn't any collision issues here. We'll we'll do this. This will be our our final ride here, and we're gonna have to theme this up a little bit to make it seem like a carnival. I have no idea what a carnival theme is, but. Uh, you know, we got to do the, the tent or something cool. I don't know. I'm thinking we'll use these marquees real quick. I hope this isn't going to hit. Oh, it goes. Oh, my goodness. Can't do that. I guess we could do a double swing. These are kind of cool. Let's just see if this will have any collision issues. It could. Uh, yeah, it's too close. Oh, I know what to build. Let's build a spinning coaster. Why not? Uh, we got nine minutes to build this bad boy. All right, we're going to just start it with a very sharp left turn. All right, so I locked the spinning. I'm going to do something kind of cool right here where it, like, kind of, uh, uh, throws you out of your seat just a little bit then i'm gonna make it go flat again and i'm gonna unlock the spinning here now uh this is gonna have kind of a big drop oh man we only got eight minutes to do this right okay i gotta gotta make this probably a little bit of a shorter layout so we'll do something like that we'll have it twist like this i'm thinking some interactions with this ride specifically might be kind of cool so we could like kind of just have it go underneath here and uh we'll have it come over this way all right so we're gonna have it turn around here just like that and uh i'm gonna go ahead and do the break so we're gonna get this kind of connected up this way some breaks and i'm thinking something like that'll be a pretty good layout so yeah i think this layout's kind of fun so i'm gonna go ahead and try to build a station within the next five minutes for this this looks more like mcdonald's in a circus but you know what we'll go with it uh all right so let's grab our poles like this and we'll just go like that all the way down right here too grab them this is a very uh botched together ride but we're gonna try to do this so roof will do some this here just make it look a little nice yeah okay grab some of these fences just put them right here and honestly i'm just gonna like go like full wood right here might not look the best but uh, we really don't have the time to, like, go full out with the, the decorations on them. I'll keep the theme up, though, with the red and yellow. So, we'll, uh, do yellow on these, like that. And then we'll do red. All right, awesome. It all looks pretty good. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab these roofs, put them here, just like that. And, um, let's just build a really quick station for this. So, uh, a queue will go, like, something like this. Um, then we'll get our exit path here, 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 queue. I want, like, a solid minute where I'm able to do, like, some theming for this ride. Okay, uh, all right, so gotta grab these, go down here, boom. Oh my god, I'm panicking, boys. I'm actually kind of panicking right now. And then we'll bring that up one, and then we'll go around just like that, boom. Okay, this is looking cool. We'll have this go here, and uh, I think our circus ride is now done. Oh man, okay, do yellow like this, like that. Uh, I'm just gonna have to delete this part right here. I wanted to do like a little thing on the exit, but we just don't have time for that. All right. This ride is done. We're going to go ahead and just like, oh, we got to paint it. We'll do red, just a red color, basic red one. And we'll, uh, we'll do red and yellow. Just, uh, okay, yep, that, that's cool. And then uh, let's just grab our trees. We got to place a few of them down here, just like that. Some right there, here, boom. Let's grab some more of these bushes. I want to place it like that. Some here. I'm thinking uh, of some of these trees that might look nice. And then uh, I kind of want to place just a few pines here to kind of block off that view a little bit. And uh, we're getting pretty close to this park being done. Um, we got to go ahead and build a uh, kind of an entrance right here. Uh, we want to make sure nobody enters through yet. So we'll grab these. Oh my god, I just realized we're missing so much fencing. Okay, we'll, we'll do something like this real quick. Very quick little entrance. I'm going to actually delete two of those. So it'll just be like that. That's our little entrance thing in. Okay, that's cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's just get some like nice looking fence. Maybe something like this to kind of connect some of these areas up. Go along. I, th I think that looks pretty cool. And then, um, I obviously want to do some more trees. There's some places missing a ton of trees. So, oh, we don't want to, like, interfere with any rides. We got 15 seconds left. Oh, my goodness. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, my God. There's an issue. Uh, oh, oh my God. I'm deleting trees. Uh, okay, there. Uh, and 2, 1. Okay, we finished. We finished. Oh, my goodness. That clutch was insane. I don't even know how I did that, to be totally honest. This looks cool. 
I really love this part. Okay, guys, our theme park is finally done with every theme being randomly generated by ChatGPT. And we're gonna go check them out right now. So the very first one I wanna check out today is this one, the space one. And uh, this one looks pretty darn cool if I do have to say so myself. Let's go head on up here and get in line for the space roller coaster. Wait, don't leave without me, please. Okay, we're gonna have to ride in the back row. Uh, we didn't catch it all the time, but yeah, here we go. So we go past the sun here. Very cool. And then now we're going past Earth. Very, very awesome. And then watch this. We're going to go full speed ahead into this launch. We're going to full set it all the way up. Oh, my goodness. Look at how high up we are. And now we are coming back down towards Earth. Crashing around here right through a tree. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to delete that tree. Uh, just pretend that didn't exist. It. Right past the moon, the earth, the sun. Very cool. All these little neon lights. I think I did a pretty good job for a space theme. Uh, I kind of just like the moon being there. I don't know. It's just kind of a little funny. But uh, here we have our jungle. I think this one's really cool. I kind of went a little bit out with this one. I, I think I did a very good job on this. And the roller coaster itself, I think, is awesome. Yeah, let, let's go ahead and get online for our jungle roller coaster. Oh, man. Look at how fast that thing's going. That's crazy. All right, guys. Here we go. Full speed ahead. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, man. Oh, I'm holding on for dear life right now. This is kind of scary. Here we go. Oh, three, two, one, go. Oh, my goodness. Full speed ahead. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going pretty high up. Oh, man. Oh, we're at the very top. Okay, now we're coming crashing down towards Earth. Going supersonic speeds. And then, whoa. And then we go right into this part where it, like, kind of hangs you upside down for a second. That is pretty terrifying and awesome. I would love to see that in real life. And I love that. The jungle theme looks pretty cool on this one. Uh, I do like it. I love all the little sh uh, sugarcane things I built there. It, it does look like a jungle a little bit. But our next one we have is our underwater theme. As you can see, we got like coral, uh, different crystals and all that to kind of uh, show that it's like underwater. We have our giant splashdown. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that one's pretty cool too. But our last one we have today is this one here, which is our carnival roller coaster. So let's go ahead and get on board this one right here. Let me hop in. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going up the lift hill right now. Uh, we're kind of tilting a little bit, which interesting. Um, okay, now we're spinning. Ooh. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. And uh, I have no idea what is happening. Oh, we're going backwards. Okay, that's cool. Whoa, that that's kind of like a cool spin we just did there. Oh, and then uh, this is like a really weird helix I think I made that doesn't like actually uh, like have any, uh, it's not banked, so uh, you, you really start spinning on that. And then we go right to the air end of the McDonald's coaster or the carnival ride. But yeah, that is our roller coasters that we built today. Our whole theme park with randomly generated themes. Leave me some suggestions down below what you would like to see me do next. But anyways, I think I'm going to end today's video here. Bye, guys!